So this is section 2B, rather, which is 55 marks. And we are supposed to answer all questions in these sections in the space provided. So this is question 14A. A student is provided with five masses, uh, a meter rule, a spring with a pointer and a stand, uh, a boss and a, a cramp. So in the space provided, sketch a rainbow diagram of the setup that may be used in order to verify Hooke's law using these apparatus. Uh, so what do we know about the Hooke's law? We know that the force applied is directly proportional to the extension unless the uh, extension limit uh, is exceeded, uh, th that is a uh, spring limit. So to be able to set up uh, this uh, experiment, then you need to make, to, you can make a sketch here, that is your stand. So that is your stand, just a sketch, so you don't have to be so keen on that. So that is a stand. Uh, this is the boss, so we have the, the boss here to connect uh, the, the two. We have the, the cramp here, uh, which is like that. Uh, so here we can uh, fix the ruler. Uh, we can fix the ruler here, the meter rule. Uh, that is the one that is going to measure the extension. Uh, so we can mark like that to indicate it is a meter rule that will help. Uh, then the, our spring, uh, we will connect it here uh, so that is our spring uh, and our spring has a road we fix the road there so you can keep on uh, uh, that is a pointer uh, so this is uh, the cramp so that is uh, how you can make a skip then you are supposed to rebo so you can say uh, then the, this is a meter rule uh, not like that but uh, we say it is a uh, Uh, meter rule uh, so this is a spring uh, this is a stand uh, this is a boss and this is a cramp so that is a sketch that this you draw just a sketch and uh, this is a experiment so as you keep on adding adding more more weight then that is how you are going to uh, uh, okay this one we have not reboot uh, so this is a uh, uh, road uh, so that is how you make that sketch and you get yourself three marks Roman number two we are stored state two statement that, uh, measurements that should be recorded in order to plot a suitable graph uh, so as to verify Hooke's rule uh, so to verify Hooke's rule, we know the relationship that uh, the force applied, uh, force applied is directly proportional to the extension. Uh, the force applied is a, as a result of weight. So weight is equal to which is the force is equal to the m multiplied by the gravity. So the cost, what is causing the mass is a mass. Uh, which is being hung. So the two measurements that are to be measured to, to verify the Hooke's row is the mass uh, being hung and the extension uh, marked by the, 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 the pointer that is the extension of the spring which is read uh, from the pointer. So those are the two measurements so that we apply the Hooke's row that the force applied is directly proportional to the extension unless the extension limit is exceeded. Uh, Roman number three, describe how measurements made in Roman number two can be used to determine uh, the, the spring constant. Now, the, we have said that uh, the, the Hooke's law force is directly proportional to the extension and therefore we say that uh, we say that uh, f is equals to uh, we say f is equals to you form an equation it is k e so k is a spring constant uh, now for us to be able to do that uh, then uh, we need to to make uh, to record 
uh, to record that is uh, to record the f the, 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 the the mass uh, being exploded so that we get the weight so force is equals to uh, the weight is equals to mg so once we decode uh, different masses then we will be able to form an equation for example if we say uh, the first road is 20 uh, grams uh, we record the extension that is uh, the mass is equals to we record the the extension extension is equals to from the original maybe two centimeter we add mass is equals to another mass is 40 grams extension becomes uh, maybe four centimeter then we will be able to apply this formula with these two measurements or several measurements to be able to determine the spring constant so that's how you uh you 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 you, you use the measurements used in uh, Roman number two to, de to, to determine the spring constant. Uh, part B of this question, we are told a helical spring stretches by 0 0.6 centimeter when supporting a weight of 40 grams. Determine the extension when the same spring supports a weight of 0 0.65 grams. So we have the extension. Uh, extension is equal to 0 0.6 centimeter which we can write in terms of meter we divide by 100 it is 0 0.006 uh, meters we have the force force is the weight so it is mg uh, so we multiply 40 grams uh, to con we convert to, to kilograms by dividing by a thousand uh, and we multiply by 10 and that should give us uh, 0 0.4 uh, that is uh, newtons so we can now get our k k is equals to force over extension which is equals to uh, 0 0.4 uh, you divide by the the extension which we have found it is 0 0.006 uh, you can use your calculator and you'll be able to get 66.67 uh, newton that is newton per kg so that is a constant so if the same spring is used to extend a weight of uh, 65 uh, grams then we can say extension is equals to uh, 65 uh, grams you divide by a thousand to make them kg and you divide by the co the, the spring constant which is 66.67 uh, which you can write it is 60 65 divide by a thousand multiply by 66.67 and that should give you a 9.75 multiply by 10 to power 4 and these are we have these are uh, since we have multiplied these are kg uh, so this is a constant that uh, we have so that is how we work out that question so that is uh, the that is uh, the extension which is in now in meters uh, so that's how you work out that question